It's a lie. Do not believe that you have anxiety. Do not believe that because anxiety stems from having fear. And what fear actually is, you making up a false narrative of what is to come or your future or what hasn't happened. What you're in fear of hasn't happened yet. So the anxiety that you feel is based off of something that you conjured up in your mind. It's all fake. So that's why it's so important for you to focus on the word of God and who God says you are. So when you start to worry about what hasn't happened yet, you are reassured by the word of God to know that everything's gonna work together for my good, that I lack nothing, that God made me in his image, that I'm wonderfully and beautifully made, that I am the head and not the tail. Sometimes it's like it's an ongoing battle because I feel like we're in a rush. We're in a rush, especially in this day and age that we see so much happening and we see so many things on social media. So we feel like, oh my gosh, if I don't have this yet, I'm not, I'm not doing nothing or I'm not successful because I haven't accomplished this by this age. And no, it's all a lie. It's going to happen for you. It's going to happen on God's timing. Enjoy the process and do not let anxiety trick you out of your spot. Do not let the enemy trick you out of your spot. Do not let the enemy lie to you and think that you're not called, that you're not favored by God, that things are not working out for you. I don't care what your situation may look like right now. Tomorrow it could happen for you. So you just, you can't allow fear, anxiety to rob you of your present day because you will not be focused. You will not be focused when you are moving out of fear. When you move out of fear, it brings forth desperation and you'll settle and you will not accept God's best because you won't even feel like you deserve it. It's a daily battle. I'm not even going to lie to you. But one thing about it, we're going to overcome this thing. Okay. Good morning. Love y'all.